for this setup you will have LED tape, a handheld remote, a controller receiver and a power supply. The transformer wires into the V plus and V minus on the receiver input and the LED tape wires into the V plus, R, G, B and W on the receiver output. The starter cable should be colour coded and you can wire multiple LED strips into the output of the receiver. To pair the remote to the receiver, simply turn on the remote, tap the black button on the receiver and then touch any button on the controller within 10 seconds. You will now be paired. You can pair multiple receivers to one remote. To unpair a receiver to the remote, hold the black button on the receiver for 10 seconds. To repair, simply follow the previous step. The top left button turns the LEDs on and off. The LEDs will always remember the last setting, even when power has been removed. The touch colour wheel allows you to select any static colour. Your LEDs will stay on this colour until another setting has been pressed. The bottom left button dims the LEDs. You hold to dim and then hold again to increase brightness. You can dim down to around 20% brightness. The R, G, B and W buttons once tapped add 100% brightness and once tapped again reduces that colour to 0%. Be aware that if you click a colour and then click another colour, you are adding 100% of each, therefore creating a mix. You can then dim each colour by holding each button the same way as the dim button works. This is great for mixing pastel colours and whites. Be sure to turn the white channel to 0% for bold colours when using the colour wheel. Once you've created the perfect shade you require by increasing and decreasing the percentage of each colour, you can then save this setting by holding S1 or S2 for 3 seconds. You can then replay this setting anytime by clicking S1 or S2. The bottom right button plays, pauses and speeds up up to 10 different built-in modes, such as colour scrolls, fades and flashes. You click the button to play, hold the button to speed up, hold again to slow down and then click again to pause. You can then click again to go to the next program. Why not subscribe to Instyle LED's YouTube channel?